Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today something crazy happened. I wish I was vlogging because the reaction that we all had was crazy. Don't mind the mess, we haven't cleaned up at all yet today and our house gets messy at night, but just wait. Look at Sophie, she be looking so different lately. And I said, Sophie, I swear to God you grew. So over here, we keep all of our growth underneath the cross because it's by the grace of God that our children are growing. So this is Sophie like not that long ago, like maybe three months ago, maybe three months ago. So I said, Sophie, get over here and let's do a, a measurement. So feet up against the thing there. Okay, so I'm gonna measure her. You ready for it? Okay, go. Look at that! Isn't that insane? Wait, In like three it. months. And this is Gabby up here. So she's probably 5'3 now. Wow. She started, when we moved to this house, she started down here. Now she's way up here. She might be. Yeah. Two years growth. 5'3", because I'm 5'5 five and a half. Yeah. Let's measure you. We should have marked them, but I mean. Let's measure you. That's 5'5", five five, that's 5'5 five five and a half. Should not be marking on walls. I don't know why we did that. That's our first measurements. I was there, Sophia was there. Then she grew and grew and grew. Yeah. I was there. Um, yeah. Grew, half all right, inch. let's measure you now. Like, year. we all freaked out when we saw how much Gabby, Sophie grew. No. All right. Wait, it's really floor. hard. Maybe the floor is just shaking. Are you nervous, Gabby? Are you nervous? Gabby does not want to grow. She loves being 5'5". Five five. Okay. Wait, there's a freaking thing right there, and I can't put my body okay. up against All right, wall. here we go, you guys. Let's see. No, oh this God. is not going to go good. I don't, oh, I you're the same. <laughs> you're the same, Gabby. <laughs> Glad I didn't grow. Gabby hasn't grown in a long, 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 long time. So she started here. And since so in two years she's grown this much, and in two years Sophie's grown this much. Yeah, two years. Wow. Yeah, like I think Gabby's done growing. I think oh, she's done yeah, growing. I, I think you are. Large ponies for life, Gabby said. I'm never gonna be able to grow a large pony. <laughs> you're gonna grow out of your pony. Maybe. But I'm gonna but, I mean, you're I'm still gonna ride up until my feet touch the ground. <laughs> you're gonna be tall like me, sister. Gabby and I are headed to the barn. It is 8.30. Sam has a conference call. Otherwise, he would have taken her. So I'm taking her. We're going to go and check on his legs and his sheath is so big, you guys. It looks like he, looks like he's not gelded. <laughs> it's how big it is. It's craziness. Anyways, for any of you guys who are concerned, I've been in contact with the vet every single day this week. I am able to text him and send him pictures and talk to him. And he thinks that the swelling of the sheath is just a residual thing from the swelling in his legs. Like when he was all swollen, we couldn't even see the sheath because his groin was all swollen. So now that all the swelling is going down, he thinks that it's just leftover swelling in his sheath. It's pooled there because he's not moving around. So that's what he thinks. I concur with him. Um, still, like having a swollen sheath has got to not be fun. So. He wants to see pictures today, so I'm gonna send him pictures today. We're gonna to go do that right now. I'm just waiting for the car to warm up. Do you have any famous last words, Gabby, before we go to the barn? I like the truck better. You like the truck better? Why? It has more power. It goes faster. Yeah, spoken like a true boy. You guys, <laughs> Gabby is my tomboy. So, somebody left a blanket here for us to try. So, all right, we'll try it later. It's a tough one canvas blanket. This is all of our medicine, guys. He gave us two things, and one is almost completely full. But we're only supposed to do it for seven days, so we're gonna have extra medicine left, I'm guessing. You like that syringe better? Okay, so I can't, I don't think you guys can see. It's canvas. It looks like this. It's an 81, and she said it didn't fit her horse. I do not know how she got it back in the bag. But anyway, I like it because, um, I like a canvas blanket because it can go underneath another blanket and I like layering blankets now. One of the ladies here layers her blankets and I swear her horses look like the most toasty, comfortable, warm, more than any other horse. And I always like look at them and think like, I wanna layer our blankets like that. Anyway, let's go see how Chino is. So our vet wants us to take pictures of his leg today. All right, I'm still not loving the medicine. Oh, a little better, a little better. Oh, good boy. Let me give him a treat for that. Good boy. Don't eat it now. Oh, yay. Good boy. He's getting used to it. All right, so he's getting a little hand walk. 
He he knows. When we arrive now, he's like pushing his way out the door. He's like telling us. He's telling us in no uncertain terms that he wants to go. We put some some salve on him. Some we put the poultice on him yesterday. I don't think I'm in love with the poultice, you guys. It is messy. So I sent videos to Fiona yesterday. Gabby's been telling me that he is sound in the front. And I sent videos to Fiona to yesterday just to double check so I can tell the farrier today. And she said, yeah, he's completely sound in the front. So I tried to video him, like just on my phone, a little clip of him trotting. But he was trying to run Gabby over and was acting wild because he is really fresh. Don't make him go. Don't you come to me. Ah, why am I standing here? Jesus, let me get out of here. Do not like to be in the line of fire. I've been run over by a horse before. All right, I got the pictures. I sent all the stuff walk, to, to Fiona. I know, he just wants somebody to be with him. Like, he just wants to run and be busy. So, like, you can see he's still swollen, but from this angle, Oops, like he's really spooky. You know how when they get on stall rest for a while, they get like spooky and, well, he's jumpy. Jumpy is the right word. Excited. He's excited, yeah. All right, well, let's take him in and brush off the poultice and paint his shoes. So we're gonna try not chewing him. We're gonna talk to the fairy. We're gonna try not chewing him and hardening his hoof and we're gonna talk and see. All right, so I'm gonna go check on Storm because apparently his under blanket is a mess. I found with Storm, he does the best with an insulated rain sheet, which is too cold in Canada for that. But if I layer it with something else, he does really good. But apparently the under blanket is ripped to shreds. And I'm out here with no halter. I don't know what I was thinking. Hopefully he doesn't run from me. Oh, don't you even think about it. Look. Oh, both of our horses are looking at me. Look. Uh-oh. Look, Storm. I got treats. Wow, you guys. Do you see this? Do you see it? Do you see what's happening right now? Do you see this? I'm an animal whisperer. Hey, handsome. Do you need help with that blanket? Yesterday was quite warm. And if he, it's your kind you like. Yeah, I know, I was touching, touching Chino with that hand. Sorry about that. Oh, you're sweaty. All right. But boy, you want more? Here, hold on. It's late. There we go. Okay, look at, so this is, this is the issue. Broke the straps. This is his thing. There's Mr. Oakley, do not come near me. I have business with Storm. And I'm nervous that you guys are gonna end a fight with me. Go. I honestly, I almost wanna get more of these blankets because these are. this is the only blanket that has lasted more than a week on him. Like, oh yeah, you wanted me, huh? He either knew that I wasn't gonna work him or he knew that if I did work them, it wouldn't be very hard. <gasps> yeah, you just wanted some love, huh? Yes, you did. Oh, you are such a good boy. Literally, this horse has always loved being scratched and rubbed. And I feel like even though the girls do a good brush when they, when they brush him, they never like, I always wait until they're done being brushed. Like I, I brush them until he tells me like he doesn't need it anymore. Like right now he still wants it. Yeah, you like being brushed or you like being scratched, huh? I just got a message from the chiropractor and she's gonna be here next week, a week from Friday. What do you think of that, hey? I know he really likes the chiropractor. All our horses do. They love getting massaged. All right, that's it. That's it for you, that's it for you. Thanks for coming to me though, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So it's true, like Gabby has a totally different side of her and she's been trained that way. She's been trained that, trained that she's the boss, what she says goes, 
and you better listen. And she's not been trained like that for me because I'm really not that kind of a parent, but that's her horse training and I'm grateful for it. It'll change and grow as she grows. I'm, I'm grateful for what she has right now and I'm grateful that she's been taught to be strong because sometimes we need that. Sometimes I think the horses do want like a little bit of a softer, softer personality. But she does well. She's only a kid and she's only gonna learn and grow from here. All right, you guys. I have to, we're doing our course. We're, we're, I'm, we're sitting here on the couch. We've got the computer, the laptop in front of us. We're doing the course. We got our chocolate almonds. Oh, we got chocolate almonds. Shh, don't tell them that. Okay, so um, we learned so much. We're only like uh, six minutes in to the first lesson. We learned about drive lines and we learned that, what did she call that? Movement is better than, so you know how when the horses were racing at me and I was shaking my arm like that, like you better not come to me. Movement is way better than just putting your hand up. I, I, I nailed that, okay, I, nailed, I did not nail all the rest of the course already, but I at least knew, I don't know, I just did it anyway, but movement you, is better than just scream. Than, yeah, okay, back to our course. Okay, so we're gonna go get Storm. We'll be back for you, Chino, with your friend. Um, we're gonna go get Storm before the farrier arrives. Well, I know how to not make him run away. Okay, right. yes. Okay, wait, Gabby, I want you to do it. I want you to do, yes. Okay, so in our course oh, today, we learned about passive leadership, which is, and I think that Gabby goes up to Storm like a strong leader, and he's like, like, no, you're not the boss of me. I don't care, I want you to try it. You guys saw what he did for me today. We're trying it. We just find the horse first. Sophie and I are really good at, at, yeah. I'm gonna walk up to Finn like this and go. That's not how you have to do it. So it's interesting, it's gonna be interesting to see. If he gets upset because she walks to him because of the way like she walks to him. She walks to him like she's saying, you better watch out, here I come. Instead of like what I did, hey friend, you want to come to me? And he did it perfectly. Why like, I just walk like this? So many things I noticed in the videos that we were watching today on the course Mom, you are things approach. that we already know. Like I was talking. Finn, I don't have your halter. Today. I would spend time with Storm in the field today finding all his scratchy places and all the things that he likes and they talked about that in the video today like so much of the of horse stuff you are automatically do Gabby, start crouching. naturally Gabby don't be aggressive come on <laughs> there's a lot Look of poo on the ground <laughs> Good, you were paying attention Okay. Look how cool the oh, that's a herd. Wow. Remember, Gabby, don't walk aggressively. Yeah. Oh, Finn did it. Ah. Finn was interested in her. Our horses are interested in us. Like, we've done that well. Finn. All right, I think she's doing a sneak attack. All right, so he probably thought he saw us once today, so he wouldn't be coming back. <laughs> We're trying with a new blanket, dude. Oh, you did it! You did it! Give him a treat now. I don't have a treat. Here. Good boy. So he he walked up to her and touched his, touched her hand, kind of like a join up. So we're learning natural join up. Join up we're going to be doing this week is going to be totally different than the join up that that you guys are used to. There's like a white, a gray horse that is from. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. There's like a gray horse. It doesn't belong in this field, but he just jumps the fence and hangs out in both fields and it's funny because he just <laughs> acts like he belongs here and he's all good with it. Good boy. Let me fix your blanket. Like, why? Yeah, he's probably cold. No, he's probably not cold. Gabby and I have a theory that Storm takes his blanket off when he's too hot. Too hot. So I keep on using my body language to tell Gabby I'm the boss of her and she's giving me the dirtiest looks ever. Aww. Be my friend, please. It's nice and heavy. Like, I love this. It's a canvasy kind of. Somebody posted it on Facebook that this was for, that they were gonna sell this. And I saw it and it's the kind of blanket that Gabby really wants in terms of it has a really nice belly band didn't fit her horse so i'm thinking like if we can get it to fit storm or chino it would be great for us ideally it would be for chino because he's shaved 
I think this would be a harder blanket to rip. Knock on wood. Oh, I like it. Like, that's perfect. Storm, you look awesome. It's so freaking gorgeous. And look at that. This is the kind of blanket that Gabby wanted. It yeah. says, it looks like it says 78 on it, not 81. Oh, no, it says 81. No real tail flap, though, but that's okay, because, I mean, they but that's usually... that's fine, because now that you just grab one of those... Isn't it just down. a stable sheet? Is it a stable sheet? It looks like it. It does. Well, I want it for underneath. Yeah. I like this part. Oh. This is for the neck. Like okay. It, I, it has like a big Why neck. Why has it got Velcro on it? That's, That's the, the strap. strap. Oh, geez, Louise. Look at me. Yeah, I'm really dumb. Did you just say your mother is really dumb? You agreed to it. If you own it. You agreed to it. It's just barely going on. Yeah, it fits a 78 beautifully. Like, what do you guys think of that? Like, no, that is a sexy horse. horse. He's a bigger butt and he's fat right now. That's a sexy he's horse. Okay, but here's the thing. How come there's Velcro on this section? Because if he's not as fat, the straps will go longer and go uh, all the way over. Oh, you are a smart girl. Good thing I'm taking a course with you guys. That is easy. That's easy. That's Take easy. I'm dumb and I don't know you. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see. Yeah, it's got like a nice leather. I know, I don't know. It, it's like a... It's like a heavy canvas. I'm going to read up on it. Yeah, so put the legs on there. I'll see. Like, we'll put the other blanket on top of it. We should buy it. It was nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. It was, it was a really good price, too. His leg okay. is a lot less woolen. His leg is a lot less woolen? But it still swells up yeah. around here when he's standing. Yeah, pooling. He needs to walk. You need to walk. Look, he seems calmer. In the morning, he's, like, so frustrated. That's because all the horses just... Oh, look at that. Is that like leaf? What is that? Fleece? Oh. What? That's nice. See, it fits like lengthwise. I know. His sheath is huge. It's so he's huge. like, look at that thing. It's you, bigger than normal. I don't know. He looks like that looks bad. It looks like he's a stallion. So. I know. Yeah. It looks like he got an implant. <laughs> Can you get any implants on those? Yeah. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> That's probably true. Get implants. <laughs> See, you guys think she's not getting a good education. Yeah, I watch Grey's. <laughs> Gabby has... Lengthwise. Chino a lot better than Storm. You think it does? Yeah. The belly straps fit Chino so much better. Yeah. Just a little bit better though. So the belly straps fit Chino uh, tighter? Um... We can storm the stomach strap goes up to here. Chino, it moves up a little bit oh. to there. So technically, it wow. Chino better. Storm, you're because fat. Chino's more thoroughbred, mm -hmm. but Storm's butt is bigger than Chino. But look at this. Seems this is tight. Make you feel all cozy. I don't know. Like with that belly band thing, it fits tight. Like how do you move? No, it doesn't fit tight. It's way looser than a, how a girth would fit if the girth is loose. Yeah, but he's not going to be running in the field with his friends in a girth. I know, but literally it's this so loose. Try it a little bit loose, so I know, just so I can see if the blankets, like, imagine wearing skin tight jeans versus a little bit loose jeans is what I'm saying. Skin tight. No. It is. Mom, Put it a little bit loose and let's see if we can loosen it and if it feels okay. And it is definitely too tight here. I can see it. All right, guys, comment below. Who, who fits it? Who wears it better? Chino, because Storm has a big bite in it. It just looks weird. All right, so Stormy it's Boy is doubled that. up again. Is yeah, Gabby's coming with you. Double up again. Like, it's cold. But days where it's not cold are days when he, rips his when he rips his blankets. Like, so if the sun comes out. He's running around all the time and he gets too hot. He's like, hey, rip my yeah, like, you know how Storm rips his blankets? It's never somebody ripping it off of him. He bursts through the front straps. He literally, okay, so he was wearing two blankets when we got here this morning, and the top one, perfectly fine. The underneath one, the, the breast straps, the chest straps, I mean, breast, mm -hmm. the chest straps, broken, broken in half, and yet the ones on the front, not broken. He has really good luck with insulated rain sheets. That boy might end up this whole winter with like layered blankets uh, with the insulated rain sheet on the top, because that sucker never rips. Knock on wood. Good thing we're in a barn, right? Don't worry, Chino Bambino. So, talked to the vet today. Vet said that Chino can go out now. He said he can go out, and he said that even when he goes out, 
uh, but we're probably gonna wait till tomorrow after we give him his last dose of medicine. So he can go out, but he has to still be hand walked every day. Okay, so these are the new feet. And he's getting shoes on. He thinks he's gonna get sore again if we turn him back out, even with the Caratex, because he's Me so too. flat footed. Yeah, Gabby does think that too. And I say we Probably do whatever. Probably just because he's been living on the squishy yeah, mat. I say we do whatever so he needs. When she's grumpy, just take a selfie with him. Uh, if Penny's grouchy, I play TikToks for her, and she's like this. And she's so excited. Oh yeah, he does get excited. There's a light. He's like, you got Finn and Chino in the arena just to uh, let Chino stretch his legs out and have a friend with him. And that's all he does, stand right there. <laughs> Looking out at the other horses. Chino's got new shoes now. Always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. Well, you ben. will always keep my well, heart ben. and soul ben. strong. Gino. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will ben. always know where to go. You will Gino. always keep my heart and soul. The whole point was for so you guys to get some exercise. Alright, so Gabby's going to hand walk now because they're just standing by the gate instead. And Sophie came. Sophie showed up finally and she's going to hand You're walk, the hand walk her boy. The morning and the Baby, you're my future and you are my past Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining So I'm here with Storm. Storm's getting his shoes on and I can see the girls in the arena with the other two horses. And Sophie is trying to do the things that we learned in our course today. I see her out there. I'm loving it, you guys. Like, they acted like they were all bored and like, this is boring. They were paying attention and I see that she's, I, I think Gabby's doing the same thing. Hopefully this ch course changes our life. All right, we are headed home. It was a long day getting Chino's feet done. I didn't realize that we were doing all three horses feet today, but we did them all. I really like the farrier a lot. He wanted to try and, so the problems that our horses have, storms, feet storm has underrun heels and his feet tip this like tip in inward, inward. so he you know some people's feet the toes turn inward yeah so it's safe but with his heels yeah no with his, the side so he goes on the side of his feet so he wanted to fix like those things which i think our old barrier did want to fix those things too but our horses pull shoes so often that to keep the shoe on they have end up having to change all these other things and so anyways he went right back to basics and he's kind of built up their feet and Chino got roller roller uh, shoes I don't know I think they both did actually to change the breakover point if that makes sense I don't know he was really good at about explaining stuff uh, so that is it. The farrier whole thing is done. We changed farrier successfully, you guys. I'm going to end today's video, but before I do, I want to leave you with something that's really important to think about. Because I was thinking about this when I was in the barn. I was thinking about how, like, every single day for the last five years, we've woken up and recorded our life. Every single day for the last five years. Every single day. And people always ask me, like, how do you do that? How do you get up and record your life? Like, I don't do anything in my life, it would be boring. And, and this is what I want you guys to know, is that every day there's change, and every day you do amazing things, and 
we wouldn't even realize the things that we do that are amazing unless we recorded them. So I want to encourage you to get up, go out, and notice all the amazing that is in your life each day. Sometimes, especially with lockdown, it can make it seem like nothing is happening and like life is just unbearable right now. But if you actually mindfully pay attention to all the amazing things that happen each day, like we do with recording, then it can really help to get past this awful time. We're going into a stronger lockdown starting on Thursday, so I just wanted to share that with you, that there is beauty and amazing in every single day. You just need to stop and look and notice it. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?